Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in 2 Minutes. Today we're going to be covering a number of ways you can export data from your Tableau workbooks. These work with either Tableau Desktop, Tableau Reader or Tableau Server, whatever version you happen to be using. Um, you'll have a number of options for doing that. Bear in mind that depending on your installation and on what permissions you have, some of these options may be disabled on some workbooks. Um, so you can't pull all of, uh, all of the information off a corporate Tableau server, for example, um, simply by copying and pasting or by uh, exporting the data. Now, um, there's a number of options for doing it. What I've done is I've connected to the Superstore sample data set, and then I've gone ahead and set up just a simple cross-tab using the product subcategory, uh, the profit, the quantity, and then the total sales. And what we'll do is we'll just run through a number of the ways that you could export this. The first and easiest way um, is to go into the worksheet menu here, export, and then cross-tab to Excel. That will open up a new session of Excel, uh, and it will paste the data in in more or less this same format uh, and with some formatting and things like that. A little bit frustrating. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I actually don't have Excel installed on this computer, so it just uh, gives me an error. But it's uh, a good way of uh, just quickly exporting small amounts of data. If you have to export larger amounts of data, this is going to take a long, long time. Um, and if you do it on a dashboard, you do actually have the option there on a dashboard too, although we don't, um, you don't see it right here. Let's see if we can get it to pop up. Um, you do have this option on a dashboard in some cases too, and that will export everything that's on the dashboard if you're not careful. Um, so again, you can run into memory issues and things like that doing it that way. And there are a couple of other options. Um, obviously within the worksheet menu, there's two other options here. Um, we can choose to export just the data that's another way of doing it. That's going to give us the option to save a Microsoft Access database. So we could uh, call this the Superstore data, and it's going to save it as this .mdb file. So we'll save that. There we go. Um, so that's gone ahead and saved that data. The other thing we can do um, is export an image of this visualization. If we, we wanted the table, we didn't necessarily want the the data in the table, we just wanted a picture of the table or a picture of the visualization that we have, we can export the image. Um, by doing that, again, you can choose what you want to show, whether you want to show the title, so sheet one, um, the view it's, uh, or the other view, the caption, the legends, if you have legends on there, and then you can choose how you want that laid out. Um, <clears throat> again, some of these options are grayed out because this is a bit of a simple visualization to show you with. Other options. Once you uh, look at the data source here, you can come into the data source and you can actually export the data to a CSV. So if you click on export to a CSV, once again, it's going to bring you to a place asking you if you want to, uh, to save it. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find my small data sets. Then I'm going to go into my Tableau save data and I'm going to save this um, with the same name as the data source is the default. So orders plus uh, a couple of other things from the sample superstore data set and it will save that as a CSV. One final option, and again, this might be the easiest option is just, especially if you want this view of this table is just to uh, highlight all of the items in the table. Go ahead and open your spreadsheet and then paste. Open Office makes it a bit funky, um, but if you do that, you'll get all of your measures and all of your measure values um, inside um, a table. Again, laid out in vertical, vertical wise, I'm not sure if that's a word, but, but laid out in columns the way Tableau likes its data. And what we've really got there is the underlying data from this. And uh, that about does it. Let's see if we just right click on this. There's also one more way. By uh, highlighting everything and then clicking on this view data tab, you can see what we have in here is a similar view of the data. And we can highlight all of these items and then click copy. You can also export it right from the button there. We could go in here and again, you can just paste this into your spreadsheet um, editor, other program, um, and you can get the data out that way too. 
So number of different options for exporting data from Tableau. Again, just clicking export all gives you the option to save this as a CSV. Um, when you do that, bear in mind that you'll have one that is uh, the whole data set and you'll have one that is just the data on your visualization. Um, this one that we exported via the data menu, that's gonna give us the whole data set. Um, when we export something by this menu, it's just gonna give us what is um, inside this visualization. So a number of ways that you can export data from Tableau there. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like what you hear, then please hit subscribe. Um, no link to the uh, dashboard or to the data set in the video description. These are both standard parts of Tableau. And again, the visualization, super easy to create, just dragging a subcategory out to the row shelf and then profit, quantity, and sales out into the table to make ourselves a little cross tab to play with as we export the data. Thanks for uh, watching and we will see you next time.